everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. So today we are in the third installment of the week-long teacher appreciation gift series. In our previous two videos, we made these three-dimensional uh, treat boxes. So these have a personalized monogram on one side and a treat decal, you know, vinyl on one, the other side. And these are made with craft board. I will link the video up in the top corner for you. And then this will be the area where we put the, per the candy that each teacher says is their favorite. So this will probably be actually given out on day one, just a little something to start their week off in the right direction. Okay, these were super fun and super easy. And this just required craft board, adhesive vinyl, and some craft glue. The second video we made is, uh, these are personalized notepads, and this was just basically created in Canva, and then printed out on an inkjet, and then these are put together with um, some Mod Podge to make the top, you know, like glued, like you, like you purchased it, craft board on the back, and so it just gives it a sturdy appearance and then they'll be able to tear away. So that's what these are. And so today's video is actually keychains. So a while back, I had made a bunch of keychains because I was experimenting with materials. And so I've made a bunch of them and I had my daughter choose several designs. So she's got seven teachers these are the ones that she chose not to use but now she chose seven to do and i already have five of them ready to go so we are going to take all of these and use some scrap vinyl to put a uh, to put their last initial on and then we're going to actually make two of them because i need one with just black and white and one with um, a blue and white. So we'll do that together. Now these keychains, um, you can get them at Amazon. You can get them at any lots of other online vendors. The 12 pack comes with the acrylic disc. It comes with the actual keychain portion itself and these tassels. And then of course the little jump rings. So with that being said, you do need a pair of um, jeweler pliers that will help with getting the tassels onto the acrylic keychain. The other materials that you would need for this type of project would be your regular um, vinyl tools that we use. And since I need to make the initials and these two keychains here, I'm actually just gonna use my Cricut Joy today. So I'm just gonna use the standard grip mat and then we're gonna need some transfer tape. Okay, so let's head over to Design Space. We're going to make initials for these, and then we're going to design these two. This is gonna allow me to do both things at one time and be able to show you at the same time. So a lot of times this is what I do when I know for a fact that I'm going to be um, cutting a bunch of things at once this will allow me to stick this in the machine one time and it'll cut all of that for me. Remember when you were removing your vinyl that we're going to peel the mat away from the vinyl and not the vinyl away from the mat. So that way we keep everything nice and flat. Okay, these are all of our letters. These are great. This cut nicely. Nothing is... Um, in the wrong spot, like everything is, is covered. Okay, so put those there. And then we are going to place the next two. So now this is ready to go. Okay. All right, it's all cut out. I'm gonna hit unload and we are done. Let's go back to our overhead camera. Let's make that nice and big. Okay, so this is the two that we're going to create. The rest, we're just going to be putting the names on. Let's go ahead and take care of these. These five will go fast because, to be honest, these 
I can just pull them off like a sticker. Letters are so um, substantial that I literally can just go like this. I won't need the um, transfer tape. History. And now we're going to actually create the one for math and athletics. These acrylic rounds, they have a film on both sides. So I'm actually not going to need to clean these with alcohol. And I'm just going to do one at a time. And I'm going to leave the acrylic on the back side until I'm done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the design ready for the transfer tape and then we will get it um, to the keychain and let me see there we go perfect look at that that is awesome okay isn't this cool like I feel like I could save this and use it like a stencil that is so neat I love that. I'm going to just hold on to that and I'm not going to crumple it up and throw it away. I just feel like it could be a stencil. And so there's this one and we're going to use the transfer tape for that. And here is this one. So here all these little bitty pieces cooperate with me as well. It works really, really good on the other one. Looks like, um, I think, yep, that had a, that did have a big space. So I think that I got, I think I got everything. I'm just kind of looking to see, but oh, you know what? We have some items down here. So this little part needs to come out. And I actually think I may just move it over here it's kind of a cool element all right and then this one needs to come out like that and I don't know that this needs to go anywhere I think that's okay that can just stay there all right so both of these are ready for transfer tape. And then the B and the P, these are just going to get routed like the others and stuck on to the top. So we'll just get rid of these little inners. So the B and the P, they are just going to go on like the other two. I'm going to be very careful when I peel up this film. I don't want to scratch the acrylic. Now, to me, this is much easier standing over with a bullseye view. Okay. I know it sounds weird, but this mat is a little, um, it's a little soft. So I'm just going to have this on here. And I think that will cover everything. Really good. Okay, we're going to burnish down the front and the back. And then we will move this to the acrylic line. Oh, that lays down very nicely. Okay, and then I'm going to put it to where the flower doesn't cover that hole going with that because my transfer tape laid down a little safety net. That is okay. That comes up nicely and we can put 
the p and the r. Just play, and in a minute we'll put the um, we'll put the keyframe part on and. Yeah, it is. I don't need to use the other transfer tape for that one. I can just use this one. That's great. I do try and reuse the transfer tape when I can. Just a couple of times. Not to scratch your ear. Okay. Now this one I think it'll be a little more Yeah, like here. Oh, perfect. That that lays on nicely as well. And then now this one will be a little more precise because this is going to go to the edge. The ones that go to the edge are definitely a little harder to lay down, and then the ones that don't go to the edge are a little easier. That is fantastic. I'm going to get rid of all this trash really fast and move that out of the way. Let's put the B on there and get the keychain assembled. Very nice. Okay, now as far as assembly goes, let's see. I will be putting a tassel with this one, but I will not be putting a tassel with this one. Um, I don't know if an athletic coach, I don't know if he would like a tassel, so I'm going to leave the tassel off and just let that go. Fantastic. These are so exciting. I'm so excited about this. Okay. Um, last time, actually, let me do. So I take my pliers, I put the keychain through there, and then I'm going to put the chain on that. I'm going to fold this. A little precarious, and then we stitch with these little pliers. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to put this up top. I think that's going to be the better move, is putting it up here. And I'll have to move the other ones, and that'll be okay. It won't be hard to move those. And I have tons of extra jump rings if I need them. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Do you think that it's better to have the tassel here or here? Because the more I think about it, I think it's better to have the tassel at the top instead of right here on top. So I definitely... Um, unless there's an overwhelming vote for leaving them where they are, I think I am going to move those. I guess I could always ask my daughter what she thinks. They are her gifts. I'm just making them. All right. Then this one, I actually don't need two jump rings because I'm not putting a tassel. On there and that on there and then I will stitch those and get that crafted okay wow this is great I I'm so happy that these came out this is so these are the teacher keychains. So one day is the candy box. One day is keychains. 
one day it's no tag and we still have two more days to go but I think that those look fantastic and I hope they enjoy them so I hope that you have enjoyed this video as well. I hope that I've inspired you to make some gifts for the teachers in your life. And you definitely don't have to be elaborate, but all of these things have, are, you know, are relatively low cost. They are certainly easy to make and put together. So I'm super excited that they are, that the vision is coming out and, um, if you need some teacher gifts, keychains are great, notepads are excellent, and of course, candy is awesome too. All right, and I will see you in the next installment of our Teacher Appreciation Week. So in the meantime, enjoy yourself an amazing cup of coffee and happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table if you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.